Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is February 15, 2022, Tuesday of the sixth week in ordinary time. The Gospel said, Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and of Herod. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the letter of James. Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation. For when he has been proven he will receive the crown of life. That he promised to those who love him. No one experiencing temptation should say. I am being tempted by God. For God is not subject to temptation to evil. And he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin. And when sin reaches maturity it gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers and sisters. All good giving and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of lights. With whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth. That we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Responsorial Psalm Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Bless the man whom you instruct, O Lord. Whom by your law you teach. Giving him rest from evil days. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. For the Lord will not cast off his people. Nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice. And all the upright of heart shall follow it. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. When I say, my foot is slipping. Your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. When cares abound within me. Your comfort gladdens my soul. Bless the man you instruct, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord. And my Father will love him. And we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread. And they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees. And the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that. It was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this he said to them. Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? Reflection Today Jesus talks about bread but quickly moves on to what he expects his disciples to know see and hear, and more importantly what is in their hearts. Jesus asked some hard questions of his disciples, and that may have been difficult for them to hear. How would I answer these questions if Jesus asked me? We have gifts that God has given us, and the challenge is to use those gifts to help others. The most important gift may be that of understanding, as that will determine our actions. I pray that I will be granted and use wisely this gift of understanding. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.